Hey YouTube, it's Crazy Hermit Crab, and I'm going to show you guys what I got, and I just got the tank ready for them. So, we ended up getting these 10 females, well, I ended up getting these 10 females, 4 veil, veil tails, and 6 crown tails. And I'm just really excited because this is the first time that Petco has really sold females. In the past, they have only had males, maybe like one or two um, females, but they were always like sick or something. And so they're going to go in this 20 gallon right here. So let me get them all set up. I'll just show them each to you real quick. Okay. Hey. Yeah? I'm going to make some noise pouring the cat food in. Oh, that's okay. So here's one of the crown tails. It's pretty hard to get to see them in here. Are you okay? I have a skeleton. Uh, this is a red. There's two red ones that are like identical. Where does it, where'd it go? Alright, they're not really cooperating. I'll just show them to you like when they're all in the tank. Hey guys, Crazy Hermit Crab, and I'm just going to talk to you about the sorority I got. So, in the last video, you'll see me getting betas at Petco, and those are six crown tails and four veil tails, which have been in this tank for several minutes now. So far, there's been some flaring, um, but really no fighting. I'm hoping that they're all females because occasionally you'll get one and it'll grow up and turn out to be a male. But I, I'm pretty um, good at picking out males from females because I have bred betas in the past and I kind of know what they look like early on. So I present to you my 20 gallon home to my 10 female betas. And that might seem a little bit overstocked to some people in addition to the two two feeder guppies and one quarry catfish that are in here but it's really not because it's densely planted um, has a really nice filter and it gets lots of water changes and if it becomes a problem where I need to separate them um, I do have multiple tanks all over here 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 and in other rooms as well so it's really not going to be a problem and in the future I could see myself having a 75 gallon sorority again which I used to have but I took it down so I'm really excited about this um, because I have not owned females since this disaster I had a long time ago which killed them all and it actually made me pretty much quit sororities and almost beta keeping in general because I had about 60 betas at the time and this disease wiped out about 40 of them. It was really hard for me and I kind of switched over to goldfish when that happened. Um, and it, it has led me to become really in love with goldfish. So. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the worst thing in the world because without it, I wouldn't have the beautiful interactive goldfish that I have today. So let's just zoom in here. And this tank is full of live plants, so that's great. So here's one of the females. And I am going to my dad's house tonight and I'll be gone until Wednesday. Um, so we're just going to have to deal without any of this fishies for a little bit. What is that light? Let me go turn off this light. I just ran across the room to turn off the light. So, there are like three red ones, and normally um, I wouldn't get like three of the same color, but they will turn out differently. They'll be really pretty, um, and there's some that might look a little bit colorless, but they're still babies, and they're going to change colors a lot. They're going to get pretty big um, compared to the size they are right now, and hopefully really pretty. Here we have like a little red veil tail, I mean crown tail. I'm not really sure where they all are right now. I can kind of see there's two behind, like... There's like one there. 
So I'm really excited to see how this turns out. And a quick um, answer to all of you people who might be like, oh, you can't keep betas together. Well, these are female betas, and um, yes, they could still be aggressive and potentially kill each other, but for the most part, they seem to work out. I've never had a sorority where they all kill each other, and I've had sororities with upwards of 20 females, and it worked out perfectly fine. It really depends on the females you have, and sometimes there's one that just needs to be separated, but usually not. Um, so you need to have groups of five or larger, preferably odd numbers, and a tank that's larger than 10 gallons. This is 20 gallons, and that would hold eight to 10 females. So you also need it to be densely planted to give them all places to hide, run away from each other. So now let's go off the tripod. Now let me move this. And those are all their like cups down there. And you can't keep males together like no matter what. Like just don't do it. Sorry like my video does not want to like focus on anything. They're so cute. I love them. Let's see. I did paint the background blue in case you're wondering. The sides were painted blue as well, but I took that off. Um, there are 10 in here. Not really quite sure where they all are. There's like three twins. They're not exactly twins, but I think it's pretty cute. And I love the crown tails because their rays can get pretty long. Yeah, like I said, I'm not really sure where they all are right now. The filter is clogged right now. and I'll fix it in a second. It's really easy to fix. It just happens with the duckweed. It's all like stuck on the filter. I see like a bunch of girls back here. Oh, I think there's some flaring going on. She's my favorite. This one's looking a little bit clamped right now. Um, actually very clamped, she's probably stressed out. But she wasn't like that when I got her, and she will open her fins right back up. Well, there we go. And she'll get pretty. They just all need to adjust to this new life. It's a new tank. They're all living together. There's live plants. They're out of cups for the first time in their life. So I'll be sure to bring you guys lots of updates on the sorority. Um, Bi-weekly, hopefully. This one's also pretty. The plants in this tank are super fast growing. And all my males are doing good for anybody who's wondering. Um, he's like going on seven years. The one in here I got this summer. And there used to be a male beta in here for you guys who are wondering where he went. Let me just go show you. He is in his own 10 gallon. He is just adjusting to the water. He's a pretty boy, but does not want to be in focus. Oh well. So, yeah. I can't wait to bring you guys a lot of updates on how they're all doing, how they interact with each other, that kind of stuff. So pretty. I just love, like, them being together, like, it's, it's just so amazing. I haven't named any of them yet. I want to have good names for them because I don't really plan on getting any more betas because 10 is like the max limit I could have in this tank. Um, here's one. It's blue, but it's like a really dark blue hard to see when she's 
hiding under all these things. 10 is basically like the limit I could have in this tank. Maybe I could fit in like one more, but I probably wouldn't. If I do another sorority, then I can get more, but I'm not gonna be getting any more males because I don't want any more divided tanks. If I get like another tank, I guess I could do a second sorority or a third one, but for now I'm at my limit. So I'm gonna wanna have really good names for them all. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the description and expect a lot of pictures and videos over the next few weeks and months and hopefully years. Thanks for watching, bye.